It's the first thing you notice when you land at the Shijal International Airport in Dhaka because the clouds never break. And it's one of the first things foreigners have to adjust to when they arrive. But for those who live in Dhaka, air pollution is a reality that has significant consequences for their health. One of the main causes of the persistent haze of pollution that covers the city of Dhaka, blocking the clear blue sky, is traffic. As Dhaka continues to urbanize at a rate of 3.6% per annum, the traffic reality seems on course to become even more congested, with greater volume to meet increased demand, which will have an even greater impact on the environment. At the end of 2007, Dhaka was home to an estimated 422,000 cars, which in a population of around 15 million people doesn't seem that significant. But given the poorly maintained state of these cars and the hours they spend on the road in gridlock conditions due to high traffic volume, air pollution directly contributes to significant health issues and economic losses. The total estimated economic cost of air pollution in Dhaka ranges from 60 million to 270 million, or 1.7 to 7.5 percent of the city's annual GDP. The total loss is directly attributed to 3,580 premature deaths, 10 million restricted activity days, and 87 million respiratory symptom days per annum. So in the past, what has the government of Bangladesh done with the issue of air quality? In the late 1980s, before the city was experiencing significant population growth, Dhaka had an issue with lead in the air. Studies were conducted, and ultimately the city directly attributed these particles to the use of leaded gasoline. In 1999, the Ministry of Energy decided to make all gasoline in the nation lead-free. Over the next decade, lead levels in the population declined, and the government intervention proved largely successful. Unfortunately, new air quality issues have emerged, and it's now time to marshal governmental will to address them before the impact becomes larger. Given that the government has demonstrated the capacity to act, it is imperative that awareness of the economic burden and equally important the health cost of air pollution in Dhaka City be widely shared and addressed. Finding ways to control the growth of traffic and maintaining vehicle standards could reduce the burden of pollution and improve the population's health in the process.